Hey, how's it going everybody? This is Craig Peters here from Sound Iron, and in today's walkthrough, we're gonna be checking out Avium, which is a powerfully unique collection of fierce lead synths and atmospheric pads, developed in partnership with the premier sound effects and Foley production house, Boom Library. For Avium, we selected a wide variety of raw source sounds from their Avian sound effects library, Birds of Prey. And for months, we warped, stretched, modulated, glitched, and generally tore apart all of these samples and resynthesized them into 11 gigabytes of stunning sound design content. After that, we took all of these samples and placed them into our Ouroboros synthesis engine, which gives you a limitless supply of creative potential. So without further ado, let's dive in and start checking out some of the sounds and features within Avium. So before we start exploring all the different features within Avium, let's go ahead and start playing through some of the presets. So if we go up to the top and click this preset window, we'll see that there's four folders for combos, chromatic, sustain, and staccatos. Within the chromatic, sustain, and staccato folders, you'll see that there's also multiple folders within those folders that are all categorized, allowing you to find what you're looking for quickly. So let's go ahead and dive in and start checking out some of the different combo presets. And then if you want to cycle through the presets without having to open up the preset window, just go ahead and use these left and right arrows just to cycle through. If you'd like to explore some of the many sounds that come with an avium, just go into this Banks drop-down where you can select some of the different categories. So you have different like chromatic staccatos, single staccatos, and different sustains and chromatic sustains. So let's just go ahead and just pick some of these. And then you can go through to the sounds drop-down where you have a whole bunch of different sounds you can choose from. So let's just start from the top and just cycle through a few.
And then let's say you find a sound you like and you want to start incorporating with some of the other different layers. You can just go ahead and go down here and then you have control over how the XY moves. So if you want to turn this X motion on, we start to get some left to right action. You can also control the speed and the range. So we want to speed it up a little bit. And then we can start incorporating that Y motion. Let's go ahead and turn this on. Let's open up the range. Now one of my favorite features of this library is the random button, and this is a great way to just get inspired with some fresh new sounds, totally opposite of the presets. You can also save and load these whenever you want. So let's just go ahead down here, click random, and see what we get. And then you can also take some of these random presets and modify them. So if you like this, but you think the XY is moving a little too quick, we can go ahead and slow that down. So now we got a little bit more of an evolving textural pad. slow that down even more. All right, so now let's go ahead and start playing through some of the different chromatic, sustain, and staccato presets.
And these types of sounds are great mood setters, especially if you're trying to get inspiration for a track and you're just trying to feel for some sounds to kind of get the inspiration flowing. So these kind of libraries are perfect for that. A few things to mention are some of the different controls. So for each layer, you have volume, attack, release, offset, as well as panning. You can also pitch the samples. So let's just create something right now. Let's just go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and uh, keep this to layer one. Find a sound I like. Let's go through some of the chromatic sustains. So that's really cool. Now let's go to layer two. Maybe we'll pitch this one down, pan it to the right. Now let's go to layer three, find another sound. Let's do the chromatic sustains N through Z. a little bit to the left. Now let's go to layer four. Let's choose one of the single sustains. We'll go ahead and pitch this down an octave as well. Now let's get a little bit more movement by activating the XY pad. We'll go down here, turn this on, and then we'll turn this on as well. Open up the range a little bit. 
slow it down. And then you can also affect it even more by going into the effects rack down here, which gives you a whole bunch of different effects to choose from. We right now have some reverb on here, so without it's a little bit drier. So we can turn this on, increase it. And then if you want to do even further sound design, you can go into this quick edit menu right here. So I'm going to go ahead and deactivate the XY pad. Let's go ahead and set this to just layer one. I'm going to open the filter, turn it on. You have a whole bunch of different filter options to choose from. I'm just going to go ahead and choose one of them and then let's see what we get. And then you can affect the cutoff, the resonance, and the gain. And then you can also go into the modulation matrix and here you have a few different options as well from volume, pitch, pan. So we can go ahead and turn this, set it to LFO. A couple other things I want to mention is you also have an arpeggiator and a glide function. So if we go up here to the arpeggiator, turn this on. And then you can also increase and modify these steps. You can go ahead and add a whole bunch of them or you can clear it, start over. Let's say maybe you just want to do 12, just kind of, you know, pick in a bunch of random stuff. And then you can utilize the glide knob, which gives you sort of a pseudo legato sound. And you can use this for creating synth leads or just creating more smooth transitions from note to note. And then the more you increase it, the more dramatic it gets. Crank it all the way up. So before we wrap up this video, I want to go ahead and talk a little bit more about the mod panel. Here you have different controls for layers 1, 2, 3, and 4, and you can affect different targets. You also have some delay, distortion, EQ, and reverb as well. So if we go into layer 2, let's go ahead and do pan. I'm going to go ahead and set this to a triangle. If we increase the intensity, we get a little bit more stereo action. And adjust the rate. And then we can also go in and add some other effects. So let's go ahead and turn on some delays. Turn on some distortion. And 
as well as reverb. We also have EQ if you want to shape the sound a little bit more. And then we can go back into the effects rack, add some other effect. Let's do some rotator. Throw in another delay. I'm going to go ahead and turn the distortion off. Then you can go into the filter. You can learn this to your mod wheel, incorporate some filtering. All right, so that about wraps up this walkthrough for Avium. If you'd like to learn more about the library or check out some demos to hear it in action, make sure to go to soundiron.com. I want to thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe to stay up to date for more videos like this, and we'll see you in the next one. Take care.